story's crazy to me. Meet He Jan Kui, a real life supervillain in biomedical research. Back in 2018, he announced that he could make the first ever genetically engineered babies with CRISPR Cas9 technology. CRISPR Cas9 is a gene editing technique that is much more reliable and accurate than more traditional methods. And He Jan Kui used CRISPR Cas9 to inactivate certain genes that cause HIV specifically in embryos where the father was HIV positive. If you inactivate the gene in the embryo, the baby won't be born with the HIV gene. And you might be thinking, well, that doesn't sound so bad. He's trying to help people. And if it's for the greater good, maybe it's worth the risk. And you'd be right if you were a supervillain, because not only is it incredibly sus to think that doing something like this in humans is a good idea, there's basically no evidence that any ethics review board gave a green light for him to do any of these experiments before he started. And there's no proof that the human subjects were fully informed before giving their consent. And again, it is research at the university called SusTech, so we probably should have seen this coming. Thankfully, this story has a happy ending, as his work received almost immediate backlash. The day after he bragged about embodying Dr. Duvenschmertz, over 120 of his colleagues issued a joint statement calling him insane and unethical. Even Jennifer Doudna, one of the Nobel Prize winning scientists who created CRISPR, said that he was a dumb ugly idiot. So thank God for the rest of the scientific community for cyberbullying the hell out of this guy. Oh, and thank the Chinese authorities for putting this man in jail for a few years. He's out now, but I'm sure everyone still hates him.